um, protection from the heat is really, really important. And some people think that if they have a doghouse outside, that's actually protection. And in reality, that's worse because the doghouse does not have uh, the ventilation for the air to get through, and it actually heats up much like an oven or a hot car. And so your dog will probably not want to be in the doghouse um, if they're outside in the heat. You want to make sure you've got lots of shade and some trees um, so that they are protected from the sun. Your dogs will get sunburned just like people do and, and the cats can get sunburned especially on the tips of their noses. Um, so it's okay to take a child's sunscreen and put it on the nose and it's on the tips of the ear. Um, if you happen to have an animal that likes to lay outside, I would slather it all over his belly as well. Any place where the fur is not um, completely covering the skin, they can get burned. The other thing you want to watch out for is the pads of the feet. Although they're meant to protect the animals who don't wear shoes like we do, uh, they do have feeling. And the asphalt and the pavement and the wood decks where our dogs and our cats are outside can heat up extensively. And you want to be sure that your animals have protection from that um, because the pads of the feet can burn just like your feet and your hands can burn. Um, cats really need the ability to get inside when it's hot. Um, remember your garage also is going to act like an oven if there's not proper ventilation. So a cat door to the garage is maybe not the best option. Um, but if you're going to go away for a full day um, and your cat needs to be outside, be sure that they've got some areas where they can get into some shade and they can have access to water and food.